Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this is a great little app that allows you to boot up any application on boot on your Fire TV stick. So in this instance, I've got it to boot up IMDB TV. I've just turned the Fire Stick on and it's gone straight into that. But you can set the app to boot into any one of the apps on your Fire TV stick. So if you've got a relative that's not too uh, good with technology and perhaps they only use, say, I don't know, for instance, the BBC iPlayer or YouTube or Prime Video or Discovery Plus or perhaps Netflix, or even if you wanted it to automatically boot into your VPN so that you can make sure that your VPN's running, or so that you can manually enable it or disable it on boot up. I mean, you can even get it to boot up your launcher, something like F Launcher, which as you can see, I've done that here. There you go. Or if you prefer, you can get it to launch Wolf Launcher. Unfortunately, at the current time, I can't get it to boot Lean Back On Fire, and also, it must be noted that if you press the home button on the remote control in launchers, it will go back to the normal Amazon menu. But, like I say, it can be used to boot up virtually any app on your Fire TV stick as soon as you switch it on. So this guide shows you how you get it. So first of all, you need to have Downloader. That's this orange and white icon just here. If you haven't got it, then go see my video on how to download and install it. So let's go into Downloader. So press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control or the home button till this menu appears. Go across to apps, middle button, and then find Downloader in your apps. Highlight it, middle button on the remote control and then press the up button once, middle button to get the keyboard to come up, and then you need to type in there 310962. That's 310962. Then press the play pause button on the remote, and it should start downloading after five seconds. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really depends on the speed of your internet connection. Just be patient. There you go, as you can see, mine's now downloaded and it's now about to install. So keep pressing the down button on your remote control till cancel's highlighted. Press the right button so that install's highlighted, then press the middle button and it'll now start to install. Once it's installed, press the middle button on the remote control. Now, you don't need to keep this file so we can delete it. It's just taking up space on our Fire TV stick and space is something we just simply don't have a lot of. So press the right button once to highlight the first delete, middle button. Press the left button to highlight the second delete, middle button. Then keep tapping the left-hand side of the ring on the remote control till home is highlighted or any one of these on the left-hand side. Go up to home, middle button on the remote control, back button twice. And then we should see in our apps, right at the very end there, this icon just here. Highlight it, middle button, and this will take us into launch on boot. So it says, welcome to launch on boot. This guide will help you get started. So let's just press the right button to keep going through the guide. So when you turn on your device, you can visit the launcher or immediately open up the app you want. Press the right button again, and this talks about live channels. Now this doesn't work with a fire stick, so just skip this part. So just press the right button, and there we go, get started, so middle button. So this here, this launch TV app on boot just doesn't work with a fire TV stick, so just ignore that. It may well work on Android TV, but like I say, it doesn't work on a Fire Stick. So let's enable this. So just press the middle button on the remote control. Go down to Select App, Middle Button. And then what we want to do is we want to select the app that we want to boot with. So uh, if, for instance, I wanted to boot up with YouTube, okay, I'm just going to select YouTube there. Middle button on the remote control. Go up to Launch When Device Wakes Up. Turn that on, okay, and then we can just test it by going to test just there. And there you go, YouTube has launched. So I'm just gonna press the back button a couple of times to come out of this. Okay, so to test it even further, let's just restart the fire stick. So I'm gonna hold the play pause button down and the middle button on the remote until I get the message to say that uh, it's switching off. Here we go, your Fire TV Stick 4K Max is powering off, and there you go, it's powered off. It's now rebooting, and uh, 
we're just going to check just to make sure that this works. So as you can see, as normal, the Fire TV logos come up. The second Fire TV logos come up with the sort of fire effect in the back. And now if you've got profiles set up on your Fire TV stick like I have, then you'll see this first of all, but you don't need to do anything. You don't need to touch anything on your remote control because after a few seconds, it will just boot into the app that you've chosen. Like my app, there you go, YouTube. I didn't touch anything to do that. And there you go, gone straight into, uh, into YouTube. Let's just come out of YouTube, okay? And like I say, you can try any app. So I'm just gonna go back into uh, launch on boot, okay? Can select another app if we're not happy with this app. So for instance, let's go to Netflix. So let's just try and find Netflix in here. There you go, there's Netflix there. Okay, just gonna go down to test. Yep, there you go, Netflix is, is loading. I'm gonna come out of Netflix, okay, and I'm gonna restart the Fire TV stick again just by holding down the play, pause, and the middle button until this message in the center of the screen appears. There you go, let go, and it's gonna restart. And hopefully once it's restarted, it will launch Netflix. Now, as I say, this is handy if you've got a, a friend or a relative that perhaps only uses perhaps the one app. You know, like I say, it's quite handy for them because it's easy. It just boots straight into it. So uh, as you can see here, it's now loading. And uh, because I've got profiles set up, the profiles have come up on the screen, but I don't need to touch anything here. But no hands, there you go. And uh, now hopefully Netflix, there you go, should start loading as it is. So there you go, a great little app to launch something on boot. If you wanted to stop launching a certain thing on boot, then what you could do is you can just go back into the app. So let's do that, launch on boot. So uh, I'm just gonna go down to this app here, go into it, okay, and I can just turn enabled off and turn launch when device wakes up off, and here we go. So now when I reboot the Fire TV stick, it should just go back into the normal menu and uh, wait for me to select the profile as I've got profile selected, or if I haven't, it will just boot straight into the normal Fire TV launcher. And there we are, it's booted up again. And uh, now it's asking me to select my profile. So let's just do that. I'm gonna select Chris, middle button, and there you go, just boots up as normal. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.